All right, guys. Uh, hold on a second. This is DJ Wolf Live breaking news. Uh, of course, I call this Corona Crazy. All right. Let's get started here. Um, breaking news. Let me get to the paperwork in just a second. I'm going to tell you exactly what's going on. Just came down the wire uh, probably about, uh, who? Almost 15 minutes ago. Actually, a little longer than that. Uh, they just did an update. Uh, got this from uh, the local paper here. The local uh, online paper. It says, Maryland coronavirus. Governor Hogan issues a stay-at-home order. Governor Hogan this morning just issued an order for all Maryland residents to stay at home starting at 8 p.m. tonight. Yes, I repeat that. Governor Hogan is ordering all, well, is ordering Maryland residents to stay at home starting at 8 p.m. tonight, Monday night, March 30th. Uh, he said due to what he is calling a rapidly escalating emergency situation, the order takes effect tonight at 8 p.m. today, Monday, March 30th. Uh, quote, he said this is a deadly public health crisis, which it is. We are no longer asking or suggesting that Marylanders stay at home, but are directing them to do so, he said, noting he signed the stay-at-home directive this morning. This is a rapidly escalating emergency situation, Hogan said. You know, honestly, and I'm going to give Larry Hogan credit what credit do. Larry Hogan has done and taken more precautions uh, to try to eradicate this situation than even the president has done. I applaud. I really do. Larry Hogan is the man. I, I, I'm telling you. I'm not a fan of Republicans or Democrats, but this is one Republican, if I had to vote today, would get my vote right now. All right? And uh, let me go ahead and continue what he says. He says, also says, quote, no Maryland resident should be leaving their homes unless it is for a central job or for an essential reason, such as obtaining food or medicine, seeking urgent medical attention, or other necess uh, other necessity activities. Hogan said, "What? Well, kind of paraphrase the last part. Only essential businesses may remain open, and that's kind of like gas stations, grocery stores, hospital medical facilities like that." Uh, Hogan announced the stay-at-home order after the number of deaths from new core. Coronavirus in Maryland tripled, and it did triple, over the weekend from 5 Saturday to 15 on Sunday. That's a, a, a difference of 10 people. Ten people. Since the virus is spreading rapidly and exponentially, exponentially uh, in two weeks, he said he thought the, that the uh, DMV could look like New York. Uh, he said in two weeks, uh, he thought that uh, the DMV would look like a uh, New York in the tri-state area, considering theirs have gone out of control. Uh, state health officials said 1,413, uh, uh, 1,413 cases of the virus have been confirmed in Maryland as of to this, this morning. Overall, 13,316 negative test results have been re recorded. 353 people have been hospitalized and 43 have been released from isolation due to the virus, according to the Maryland Department of Health. The number of cases across Maryland, D.C., and Virginia has more than quadrupled in the past week. Hogan said, yeah, I've, I've been staying on top of it. It has went up significantly. It took three weeks for Maryland to go from zero to 1,000 cases, Hogan said. It just took three days for the region to more than double from 1,000 to more than 2,500 cases. He continued, saying that 51 people have died in the national capital region from the virus. Um, I got my source here, and I want to let you guys know. Patch News, uh, and, and, I, and, I, and I thank you for that. Wow. Um, they also provide here a case-by-case, -case, and this this is for the DMV residents particularly, why I'm providing this out here for you guys, man, because this is crazy. Um, I mean, the majority of cases looks to be right here in uh, Montgomery County. Wow, oh my God. Montgomery County has the most with 341 and right out here in uh, Prince George's County, 294. 
So there ain't too many places I want goose around here. Uh, Ronald County has 110. Baltimore City has 152. Baltimore County has 186. See, I'm a little conflicted because this is Baltimore City and Baltimore County part of the same thing. So I don't know if those numbers are doubled because of that or I don't know. But anyway, Calvert 12, Caroline County 4, Carroll County 82, Cecil County 13, Charles County 33, Frederick 26, Garrett County 3, Hartford 24, Howard County 96, Kent 3, Montgomery County 341, Prince George's County out here 294, Queen Anne's 4, St. Mary 9, Somerset 1, Talbot County 4, Washington County 7, Wimico County 6, and Worcester County 3. Uh, they said uh, a case by age, range, and gender uh, from ages 0 to 9, 5, 10, uh, to 19, 27, 20 to 29, 188, 30 to 39, 247, 40 to 49, 262, 50 to 59, 274, 60 to 69, 219, 70 to 79, 139, and 80 plus 52. Females, 716, males, 697. It's staggering totals, man. I'm telling you right now. This thing is completely out of control. My age range, 50 to 59, is 274. Uh, this table that I just read came from the Maryland Department of Health. So follow that website and it'll actually give you the updates. Uh, according to the Maryland Emergency Management uh, Agency, uh, says Hogan will be joined by Deputy Health Secretary F Fran Phillips at the State House in Annapolis for the new for a news conference. Uh, if it hadn't already started, it looked like it did. Says uh, you can watch Hogan live. Uh, it's already started at ten forty-five. It's actually about eleven nineteen right now. Uh, it's on. Uh, you can follow it on uh, Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube accounts. Uh, I think I'm going to try to get an update on my try to post it on my channel. Uh, for more information, visit like they said. Visit the Maryland Department of uh, Health's corona, coronavirus page. Uh, this currently was breaking news. I just read to you guys, um, and they said it will be updated. Oh, wow, this is crazy, man. So, in other words, people, I'll tell you again, this is serious. For those of you who think that the coronavirus is a joke, you better think again. Um, I just posted a video yesterday from Scarface, Scarface, the rapper who you know who uh, was a uh, part of the legendary Ghetto's Boy, Ghetto Boys. He said he was scared to death. And he currently has it right now. Now, I'm not saying it because he's a celebrity. I'm saying it because he's a person, just like everybody else is suffering. People are suffering and dying from this, man. This ish is real. You know, I just, I, I just never thought my wildest dreams that something like this would happen uh, at all, let alone this soon. But at all, you know, and I don't care what anybody say. We weren't prepared for this. This country was, this world was not prepared for this. You know, but I think personally, and it's me, I'm going to say it again. I think is this thing, this virus, is a lot more to it than this virus. We've had viruses for decades upon decades upon decades. We've had all kinds of viruses in the last 20, 20 years. Okay. But nothing has never been this big. You know, one thing that I, I think is still a mystery to me was there was a, uh, a suitcase that they found full of dead birds out of Dallas Airport. It was on the news for about a minute. They stopped talking about it. I guess the guy got arrested. I don't know what happened to the person who did it. They left that story alone. You ain't heard no updates about that story. You didn't hear what happened to the person. But it didn't sit, determine whether the birds were contaminated or what. You didn't hear nothing else about it. It's just been cold silent. You know. And that happened about um, almost two, about two months ago. And all of a sudden this started happening. See. That's why I say it's, uh, it's, it's something in the water that's just not right to me. But like I say, guys, take care of yourself. Heed to the warning that Governor Hogan just issued out a stay-at-home uh, order for Maryland residents starting tonight at 8 p.m. In other words, after 8 o'clock, don't take your ass out the house. All right? Just telling you, that's what the governor said. That ain't what I'm saying. This is what the governor telling you guys. All right? This is DJ Wolf. That's all I got right now. Stay tuned. Uh, this is uh, the coronavirus, uh, what I call corona crazy update. Not saying it's a joke because it is going crazy. All right? But I'm going to also say this. Guys, guys, 
Guys in control. Man does not have control of the situation right now. It's obvious they don't, you know, for a lot of reasons. So stay prayed up. Stay clean. Wash your hands. Wash your ass. Wash your backside. Wash everything. Okay? I even washed my car this morning. I'm getting ready to wash my driveway. No joke. Uh, um, so I'm getting ready to do that in a minute. Guys, stay prayed up. I love y'all. Thank you for following my channel, man. I got 219 subs right now. I'd like to get a lot more. So if you make comments in the comment section, please subscribe and like my channel. All right? I'm not asking for any money, although after a while, I might be having to uh, restart my uh, Patreon channel. I do have a Patreon channel. I'm going to try to work on that this week. I'm going to try to work on getting a cash app and uh, PayPal for those of you that are serious about getting additional comment. I mean, comment and commentary and content because I plan on putting more. This is just the beginning. All right? Guys, if you live out here in the DMV, particularly out here in my, my neck of the woods, what Governor Hogan has issued, heed to that warning. All right? And uh, I got one other thing to say. I had a bad feeling when they, when they start saying that, that's when they get rid of both martial law. At least I think they are. That's what it's coming down to. Because if people don't start following it, that's what's going to happen. They're going to vote for martial law. Yeah. So, stay heed to the warning. It's for your own good. It really is. It's for everyone's own good. I pray that God keep y'all, man. For real. And I'm not saying it as a joke. I'm saying it from the bottom of my heart. All right. This is DJ Wolf. I will be giving you more updates. I will be pushing out more content throughout the day, throughout the week. I am going to put some live, uh, uh, do me doing some live podcasts tonight throughout the week. It's coming uh, as far as the, the podcast and, out, and the videos. All right. But I'm doing, I'm going live. This is my first live uh, podcast in a while. And I said I was going to do one. Uh, I've been saying it all weekend. I didn't do it. Got caught up on a couple other things, you know. I was just kind of drained. I was thinking, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but this is starting to get to me a little bit, you know. Only because I'm concerned for my for my family. I'm concerned for my mother. I'm actually recalling a little bit. I'm concerned for for people that I generally know and love. I really am. This is this is not a game. You know, it's affecting the entire world. You know, and I know. That God is going to bestow his blessings on somebody to try to get this thing resolved one way or the other. All right? No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. You know, this is a beautiful world that we live in. We just keep, you know, allow people to keep getting sick and dying out here like this, man. This, this is not good. It's not good. So, but I'm going to also say this. There's a lot of things you can't do at home. Like I said, I'm getting ready to go do, do, some, do some work out of my, my driveway right now. I don't plan on touching nobody. I don't plan on going too far. The only other place I plan on going is, is, is to stock up some groceries and some toiletries and some cleaning stuff. That's it. I ain't got nowhere to go. Well, there's one place I want, but I ain't going. I'm not going to even go there. You know, my, my, my stop at Grass Guitar Center. I went there last week and I was like, oh, well, actually, was last week? Yeah, well, actually, was, yeah, it was last week because I had to get an oil change. Week, week before last, I had to get an oil change. But that was it. I ain't too many places I'm going anymore. Mm -mm. Not until they get this resolved. All right, guys. This is DJ Wolf. I'll talk to y'all soon. I'm out.